back everyone i'll go and show you exactly how to use an auto clicker that's built into your iphone it takes a little bit of tweaking around but it's a really cool thing to do and if you're ever in a game or whatever that you need to click a bunch of this stuff this is a great way to kind of go ahead and kind of like you know go around it <laughs> so what you want to do you want to make your way over to your iphone settings like this you then want to scroll down until you see accessibility which is right here so click there we then want to go and click into switch control which is right here and this doesn't necessarily need to be enabled but under switches what we want to do is we want to click here and we want to go ahead and click on add new switch we want to click on screen and we want to make sure full screen is a switch that we have there so in this case we have full screen already enabled here when you do that you want to go back and you want to go under recipes which is right here so click on recipes and here what we want to do is we want to create a new recipe and you can go and give it a name i didn't even name mine that i did before but essentially what you want to do is once this is done you have it named you want to assign a switch you want to go and click into that full screen one we have here and here we want to create a custom gesture so click on custom gesture and here is where you're going to be able to type you know kind of tap whatever you want to tap and once you're done you want to go and click save and that's what's going to happen so if you have a specific tap if you want to tap in the middle of the screen just keep tapping in the middle of the screen if you want to tap it on the side or whatever you can keep tapping whatever you want to do now timeout we don't have a timeout so we'll just leave it as is and when we're done here, we can click back and we can go and click back once more. And then if you see, if you click in recipes, you should be able to see a few different ones that you have here. So we are almost set. What you want to do here is you want to choose on the specific one. And then when it says launch recipe, you want to change it to the one that we just clicked. So if you just made a new one, you want to make sure it's on whichever one you have. And then we can swipe back and we are almost good to go. Now, what you want to do next is right here where it says accessibility shortcut. What it's going to allow us to do is when we triple click the power button or the touch ID sensor, if you have a touch ID iPhone, you'll be able to get a little pop up that comes up. So in this case, I have it enabled as guided access, which I didn't want it to, but I'll just keep it there. And you want to make sure switch control is enabled. So as long as switch control is enabled, you're good to go. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to that application that you want to go and auto click on. So in this case, I have this specific notes tab. And in this case, I'll just, as you can see, I can draw on it. For some reason I can't, so I'll go and click out of here. I'll go and click draw. So you can see I should be able to draw on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this to this one. I think this should work, but regardless, it should work whatever you're about to do. So here, what you can do is you can triple click the side button. So one, two, three, I kind of screwed it up, but it still worked. And you can see switch control. What you want to do is click on switch control and you should be able to see that it'll go ahead and create those little button taps on you as soon as you tap the screen. So you can see I just tapped the screen and it tapped on you know the screen for me and you can see that even though you can't really tell if I zoom in well that kind of screwed it up but every single time you tap the screen you'll basically be able to get the same type of things that come up every single time and you might not be able to tell over the screen but but I actually have dots on where those specific you know touch pads were going so all you have to do is just keep tapping the screen and just keep doing it for you so you can just keep tapping the screen like this and it'll count up like 10 different taps for per one tap you do so as you can see, it's still going. I tapped it like maybe like three or four times and it'll just keep going. I'm not even tapping the screen. It's just doing it for me. And after a time, it'll stop. I'm sure. I don't know when it's going to stop. But when you want to go ahead and end it, you can triple click the power button again. So one, two, three. It'll go ahead and turn it off. At least it should. And there we go. And as you can see, I do have the three little lines and dots all over the place. But that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.